Hi, I'm back and today I'm going to teach you how to make the simplest bracelet. This is for a beginner, so it's suitable for anybody who is trying to make a bracelet. And I'm using the easiest type of um, stringing, which is using stretchable uh, string. It comes in this form, usually um, depends on where you buy it. They have the transparent one, but this is the opaque and the uh, stretchable one. There's another one which is not stretchable. If they use that one, they usually have to put hooks at the end so that you can hook them together. And so what you need for this bracelet would be this and bits. Whatever bits that you like, whatever bits that you want. And let's start making it. So right now over here, this is the first bracelet that we are going to make. Um, this is the glass bead which I have showed you earlier in the last video when I go to bead shopping. And this is how pretty they are. So what we are going to do is that we take the blue, the purple string and we have to cut them into the length that we want. I'm going to double them up so that it will be stronger and less breakable. Because sometimes, you know, plastic after they use for a while, they can break very, very easily. So I double them up, I measure the length of my wrist, and I cut them. So afterwards, what I'm going to do is I take them, the two pieces of string together, and put the beads in one by one to make the whole thing. You have to remember to leave a bead at the end, and that part is going to be used for tying knots. This is actually a really, really beginner video. Um, this is actually a really, really beginner tutorial. So as you can see, I've already half of them and I'm going to continue doing it and by the end I'm going to show you how to tie the knot. I forgot to mention something is that at the end of the string, remember to put a fastener, a clip or just anything that is bigger than a hole and bigger than a bit so that you know when you hold up this end the bits is not going to drop down also while you're nearing the end but not exactly the end yet always measure out on your wrist how many bits you need um, so that you don't overdo it or you don't underdo it okay so now i have actually measured out the entire length of my risk and it's the right size so now you can see that there's actually a loop at the end and you have two string on this side what you do is that you hold you put one of the string into the hoop what you need to do is that you know you move all the bits right up to the other end so that you have some free space and now I have it it wouldn't ha it wouldn't drop because one of one of the string is tied to the the loop so you just do you know the your usual tying knots crossovers and you do it a few times i can show it slowly two string one go at the bottom and one is at the bottom you go through the hole and come up again and pull longer parts you can cut it off now we have completed the bracelet this is how it will look like for the second bracelet that we are going to make today is using the charms similar to those in Pandora such as this one so what you will need is the black leather strap that I have 
or anything that you know have hooks at the end but this one would be the best because this is what the Pandora's one they usually use for their bracelet I have myself a handful of bits six of them and I put them together so this is the color I'm gonna string them green, yellow, blue, purple, silver and red so with the string here I just put one put them together which is really really easy so there you have it it's really pretty and the hook depends on what kind of hook you just put them together this will be the end product when you put it on your hand this is how it looks like on your hand like this This one is once again really simple. I have all the transparent glass beads of different colors and this is a different type of string although they use the same type of mas uh, metal. This has a hook which hooks to the back here and has a tail. This one is a little bit more difficult because uh, actually the bow of the end would stop the bits from going in or coming out. So what you need is a plier. You open the hook into this and then you can take out the bottom which ends you up with this and this one you can just easily put all the bits through and when you reach the end you use the same hook and go back through the hole close it up yep and that's how it will look like I hope you enjoyed today's video making the two bracelet with me there will be more upcoming videos on how to make other bracelets. Thank you. Bye.